Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a pen test on the new 2017 and 18 recollection planner. <laughs> Okay, so I actually got a question on this on um, the video that I put up of me actually showing this planner. This is, again, the new planner, as you can see. And I'm going to actually test it out on this graph paper because I don't really use these papers anyway. So I have a bunch of pins here that I'm going to actually test out. I have the friction... Um, erasable pen and it is in a 0.7 I have the Le Pen pen as well and I actually have a sharpie here it's not a sharpie pen but it is the sharpie fine point permanent I am also going to do um, the paper mate ink joy gel it's a 7 as well I'm also going to try out the Pilot G2 and a 0 0.07. And I am going to do the Paper Mate Flare Medium. And I'm going to actually do um, a Straddler um, Fine Liner pen. And I have another Pilot here. It's a Pilot P700 Fine. I have a regular generic gel pen and I have another generic fine liner here is from Royal and Land Nickel so these are the ones I'm going to actually do the test on so I'm going to actually be looking for shadowing and if it bleeds through the next page so let's just start off I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to turn just a little bit and I'm gonna start off with this sharpie and I'm just gonna actually just do my name that's not really a good one. Let me just do it. Okay. Let me just do it here. I haven't used this pen in a while. And now I'm going to do the Pilot P700. Same thing. Let me go ahead and find a piece of paper to do this. Because I haven't really used these pens in a long time. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's just start over and do the Sharpie here. So scratch that out. This is the Sharpie Permanent Marker Ultra Fine Point. And I'm just going to put hello. And then the next one, I am going to do the Pilot P700. And then I'm going to also do the Paper Mate Flare. And I am going to move on to this Paper Mate Ink Joy and the gel. I'm trying to get all the color ones first. Okay, and then of course the straddler. I'm gonna just put it here. Okay, those were all the color ones. So, there is shadowing, of course. Not too much though. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really not that bad. But there isn't any bleed through at all with any of those. I'm surprised that the Sharpie didn't bleed through, but yeah, it didn't do it at all. And like I said, there is shadowing, but if you turn the page and look at it, it's not, you can't really see it. But if you're going to put like a light to it, of course you're going to be able to see it. 
I mean, you can't see it on camera, but you really can't unless you're actually showing light behind it. But if you look at it straight down, there's nothing. You can't see anything. So let's go ahead and start off with this Palette G2, which is an awesome pen. This is one of my favorite pens. This is a ballpoint. That's that. And then my favorite of all that I've been using in almost all my videos is my Friction Pen. that I've been using a little bit too much because it's been skipping lately. And then this is just a regular old gel pen. I'm gonna put it right here. This one's really, really good. And I got this at um, Walmart, a pack of 12, like a dollar something, not bad. Then I got here this Royal and Land Nickel, um, what is this? Liner? Is it a liner? A fine tip liner? Yeah. I like how that writes. I think this is a 0.5. And last but not least, my Le Pen pen. And that is all. So let's just see. Mm. Let me push the planner over so you can see. Like, you can't really see anything, can you? And that's what light's shining on it. Now, of course, if I turn it, I'll be able to see it. But straight down or even like this, I cannot at all any of them I'm surprised so there's definitely no bleed through at all with this paper the paper is pretty thick it's really thick it's a nice quality paper and yeah I like that yeah so there's no bleed through there's barely any shadowing so that's that it was a quick little video that I just wanted um, y'all to see and yeah so, this is another reason why I give the Recollection Planner a thumbs up because the paper is a good quality. It's really good. It's not cheap see-through paper. So, that is it. If you liked this video or if the video was a little bit helpful for you, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel a lot. And if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and do so. And I have nothing else to say besides I love you all. If you could see it. There we go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.